this is Sanak here, welcoming you back to another episode of my Pokemon Shining Pearl Let's Play. In the last episode, we got here to Sunny Shore City and defeated Volkner in order to obtain the 8th badge. We are well along our way to make it to the Elite Four and everything already, so we're gonna go ahead and, before we get through that, we're just gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you guys if you can do me a favor and hit that like button and hit the subscribe to join the Sanak Squad today. And without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and just say, show you the team just a little bit. Um, we, I kind of got everyone up to around level 50, uh, exception of these two here, uh, just because, you know, we're probably gonna be fighting more trainers along the way, and I was like, eh, you know, whatever. Um, my plan is to probably go into the Elite Four somewhere around like level 55, if anything, and that's it. Um, but knowing me, or knowing, knowing this game, it's probably going to boost me up some more levels beyond that. But I'm going to try to stay within uh, the 55 range, which I don't think I'm going to be able to get everyone to 55 on the way over there. So, uh, But in today's episode, we're going to go ahead and take care of the Victory Road, because that is really the only dungeon that is stopping us at the moment from just straight up progressing to the Elite Four already. So let's go ahead and warm up with this lady here but yeah welcome back everyone uh another episode this is a uh, recorded a little a little bit later um i have what's it called taking a little break from recording thankfully i had enough to kind of just um keep going for a little bit so as that was holding me along i can um what's it called just um just take a little breather once in a while you know sometimes it doesn't hurt um but yeah, just also been planning a lot of things on the side. So just kind of very interesting about that. Um, as the time of recording this, um, I don't think the other Splitgate video I made is out yet. So just a heads up that that is still going to be happening. Um, it just might be a little bit. Um, because with the holiday seasons coming around and everything, it is kind of... Uh, pushing a little bit and we have to be getting ready and then you know I'm trying to get this series finished before I take off um, because once I finish like I I, th I I still need to make an update video but if so this might be a little redundant when you see that video but um, depending on you know what time this finishes I and this is gonna be well before December ends um, I'm gonna be taking the rest of December off and not be uploading anything um, just because, you know, we're going to be out, I'm going to be, I'm going to be in Vegas. However, that's not going to stop me from recording things though. So be in on the lookout for that because honestly, I think I'm probably going to record a vlog of me in Vegas with the wife and everything. So we have a lot of, I, I've been interested and been kind of itching, uh, to record a video like that. Um, but Still not here yet. As of recording this, breaking the fourth wall, it's December 3rd. I take off the 23rd. So, see what happens then. I might even, bef like, before this or this series is done, I think that's when I'll start releasing that split gate video. And depending on how much I can get done, I might do, because I, I wanted to do one a month, at least for those type of videos. And since I didn't upload for November, I was thinking of maybe giving you all two of those type of videos in December. So just need to piece together some things and figure out because I do have other things other than just split gate and um, all that stuff. I don't know what I was going with that. But yeah, just a heads up on that. But again, I need to make an update video for that stuff anyway. But yeah, welcome back. Welcome back, people. Uh, we got Pearl right here. Not too bad. I will say... When grinding, um, I went down to the section that's right up, like, a low, uh, below the, what is that area called? Like, the villa area, where the, the cop that lets you rest or whatever is there. Um, but it, it kind of tricked me out, because the way that the water looks and those little patches of land, um, aren't as visible as they are, like, in the, the originals. So I was just kind of like, well, can I walk here or not? <laughs> so it's just really cool what they did with the water. I will say I love the texturing and um, everything that they exactly did with the water. 
Looks very nice, very refreshing. Yo, I just passed her. I thought I was gonna get into battle with her. I would like to use another. Right away. And here we are at the Pokemon League. All we did was do, what, two battles? Yeah, so not too bad, not too bad. Um, with all the trainers in here, I think that should be more than enough kind of experience to kind of help me get ready for the Pokemon League. I don't think I have anything crazy for uh, any changes as far as like movesets are concerned, I guess. I don't know. Um, I do need to plan that out though before we take on the Elite Four and stuff. So after this episode, I'm going to be like revamping the team. I'm going to go get held items. I'm going to do all the, the whole shebang. But welcome to the Elite Four. All right, the Victory Road, people. Here we go. Man, what episode is this? 18? Dang. I didn't think I'd be able to finish it this quick. But, I mean, to be fair, I'm not doing all the crazy side things that I could be doing. Yo, you gonna turn around? Thank you. So, we got TM41 for Torment right here. Not bad. You gonna turn around? Come on. Come on. Thank you. Okay, just wanted to kind of skip that trainer. Because again, I'm probably going to come back and fight them later, but for the sake of the video and, you know, editing wise, this might be easier on me. Um, okay, so we are more than likely going to have. No, we don't have to fight her. That's just for an item, but I do want that item though. Uh, you're going to turn? No, you're not. Okay. Okay, so there's a full heal here. I need to go see where there might be some spots and stuff where I can... Oh, you know what I didn't do? I need to go plant some more Lepa Berries and stuff because... Um, Lepa Berries are going to be fantastic for PP recovery because of the fact that, you know, I haven't really found many Elixirs or Ethers while out and about. Oh, uh, don't jump down there. Okay. Alrighty, so this one, um, I think compared to the other Victory Roads and stuff, um, this one is not that bad compared to, like, say, uh, Hoenn or something. Because I think when Gen 3 came out, that Victory Road was a nightmare for me when I was younger because of all the HMs, Flash, and all that stuff being needed. Um, thankfully, Flash wasn't a T uh, or an HM anymore here. So, it was very, very useful in that regards, but, god, let me tell you, Gen 3's Victory Road was pretty rough. Um, but this one's fairly straightforward, and even more so because of the fact that they made the HMs on the Poketch app, rather than you having to have a Pokemon for it. But other than that, you know, it's your, your very standard type of, like, Victory Road, where, you know, you can have Strength, I think Rock Smash is required, Surf, Waterfall... Um, I think those are the only four that you really need. So, just four. Just four. Yo, Big Mama, some big experience here, please. Um, bye. <laughs> I know your defense is like five, but dang. Um, wow, that was a lot of experience. Holy crap. Okay. Um, I think we can versus Seeker with this lady here if that's the case then that's actually like some pretty easy experience here not gonna lie um it would have been interesting at this game it, like oh there's another elixir speaking of cool um it would have been really cool or interesting to see if they did like o powers kind of like what they did in oras um here but uh, i'm only mainly thinking of like the experience and stuff to make it easier but uh, I wonder where there's a lucky egg in this game. Because I know... No, that's the oval egg that I'm thinking. Or the oval stone that I'm thinking of. Uh, because Happinis, I think if you try to catch them or anything like that, or Chanseys or something, they'll, they'll have the oval stone. Okay, I need to push you back. Can I? Okay, so cool. I need to get these items. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, excuse me. That's 
funny. Just picturing a little kid riding his bike through the Victory Road area. Uh, I would like to use another. Um, all right, another ether. Nice. So thankfully they're being a little more sparing with these, so not too bad. What am I doing now? hi -ya. Okay, so you don't need to be like going the full speed, which is good. But I'm gonna go ahead and get off the bike because, yeah. Alrighty. Um, you'll have to let me know. Let me know down in the comments as well. And also, I apologize because, um, as of today, the December, like I said, December third, um. That episode should have gone out, but freaking YouTube's, uh, what's it called? Processing thing really screwed me over this time because of the fact that, uh, oh, dang it, did I do it wrong? Uh, because I, I did, I edited the video this day of, for some, I'm sometimes I, like this whole series has been kind of like, I edit it and release it like the day of that I release it and today's episode for some reason I was like okay cool it, it should be out I just put it to publish as soon as it's done and lo and behold I I you know I'm still working and doing things for you know since I work from home and I just look at my phone I was like you know what I'm gonna go see what the video is like how's it doing whatever and then sure enough it still says it's pending and then since like nine o'clock this morning or 10 o'clock this morning, it stopped, like it's been stuck in the processing phase this whole time. I don't, I don't know why I was stuttering to get there, but it's been stuck in the processing phase at 95% the whole day. And I was thinking like, Jesus dude, like, come on. But I don't know why this series has been giving me those processing issues. I don't know. I'm kind of curious for like any more of my like content creator friends. If you guys have ever um, run across that issue and like, you know, what do you guys normally do to solve it? Because I had to basically just delete the video again. And this is the second time I had to do this for this series. Um, delete it and then repost it. And then the problem with it is since it was put into a playlist, it doesn't remove it for some reason off the playlist. I need to double check that because when I go back to the playlists, it has like as if I still left them in there or whatever, but it says like, oh, unavailable videos are hidden or something like that. And it's just, it, it it's kind of messing with me. And I'm like, oh, like I just don't want those in there because I don't want people to think that the, the, the playlist is longer than, you know, the actual series is, you know, so. But anyway, that was my little gripe I had today, and I'm just kind of curious if you guys either run into those issues, but... Oh boy, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Alright, we got a critical hit. Thank you. Okay, so... We might even get to the 55. <laughs> Dang. Alright, Rampardos. Um... Rampardos is scary. Um... Just gonna send out. Why not send out Shin Bonsai? I want to send out Bonsai. It's been a while. I love Bonsai. All right. Swords dance, yikes! Um, you're 100% faster than me, and I think you're gonna headbutt, which is actually pretty scary. Um, just Razor Leaf. Okay, we both miss, but I'm faster, apparently. How was that even possible? What? Okay. I feel like there's some there's some trickery going on here. Okay, that's fine. Um, you lived on one, and I hate you for that. <laughs> oh boy, made me waste another turn. Okay, so not too bad. Not too bad. Um, so we're gonna finish up with this trainer real quick. Okay, good. Alrighty, so what we needed to do was do this the first time because I was just trying to see if I could avoid him earlier, so I'm, but can we avoid you? If not, I'll cut her. Okay, I'll be back. Alrighty, uh, wasn't too bad. Um, let's 
go ahead and see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Okay. How many Pokemon do you have? If you, I think you might have like two or three. So. Okay, not two is not bad. I'll I'll take it on screen. Um. But yeah, uh, not too bad. Making some good progress. The levels are actually flying up really quick, as always, um, with the experience chair being on. But uh, Yuki doing a really, really good job in terms of damage output, especially with Body Slam, is very, very useful. Um, with it being stab and then also the chance to paralyze, it's what's wrong with it. Speaking of, that's cool. Um. So, I kind of want Yuki to get some experience from this. I'll just send out Ozai here, and then just Thunderbolt it, just so she can stay alive and get that experience and don't miss out. Um, let's see. Oh boy. Yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons I don't like fighting them from trainers or something like that, or at least the star... The, I like having them, but whenever the, the NPCs have anything from the Star Raptor line or anything, they always have Endeavor, and it sucks because you're like, oh yeah, no, I just did all this damage. It lives on one, and it just brings you all the way down in quick attacks. Smart plan and very smart strategy, but uh, stop it. <laughs> all right, so we got the Sandstorm here. Uh, I can't hit you with anything too crazy, so I'll go ahead and send out send out Shinobu. Why not? Shinobu can, should handle this. I, I love Luminion. I love her. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and use Surf here. So she has a very interesting moveset. I think she should be okay in terms of uh, what I will keep on her. But... Um, I think also Ozai is good. Um, I would just like a better grass move for Bonsai because Razor Leaf, you know, is good. It has that critical hit chance, but the base power on it is like, what, 55, I think? So I just want something that's better in terms of damage and hopefully something physical. I think he learns Wood Hammer at 55. I could be wrong. I want to go see what's over here. I think it might be another item, but let's go ahead and I would like to use another. So let's go ahead and push that down. All these wild Bibero helping. Thank you. Okay, so you are just going to be pushed across. So you're gonna do this. Do this. And then we should be able to push you down. Okay, so that should be good for now. Um Oh, there's a double battle here, so kind of unfortunate there, there's a double battle, but whatever, I'll take it on. But I'm gonna cut that one out because um it might take a little bit, but I uh, don't want this episode to drag on too long as well because, oh boy, is the Pokemon League episode going to be a while. So, yeah, that's one way to ruin a, an earthquaking, levitating, or, or, you know, earthquake double battle strategy is just have a levitator and a flyer. So, <laughs> um, yeah, because for that battle I had... Who was it? Ozai and Yuki out in the front, and then they had a Star Raptor and a Wish Cast, and their strategy was for Wish Cast to go for um, Earthquake, and then obviously the Star Raptor's not going to be affected. So I just switched to mine and Nezuko, and bada bing bada boom, realest dudes in the room. Alrighty, so we're, we should almost be done with the vic- no, I don't think so. I don't think we are. Alrighty. Um, I'm always like, oh, I'm going to cut it because I'm probably going to have like three or two Pokemon. But so far, my luck has been, I'm going to cut it. They have one Pokemon. It's just like, ugh. All right, thanks. Um, Alrighty, so we're heading to this portion of the room. 
I want that person not to fight me. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I like Chimeco and all them, but it's just kind of like another Pokemon that does get a little for forgettable for me because of... Uh, you don't just... I honestly just don't see it often. But, I mean, to be fair, I think... If you're fans of the anime, I think, what, doesn't James from Team Rocket have one? Um, but to be honest, uh, I, I, I keep forgetting that that Pokemon really runs around and exists. <laughs> um, even though I think it's really cool looking. I like the whole bell theme of it, especially with the, ch like, it got a pre-evolution in this one, the Chingling, which is very interesting, but, um... It's kind of interesting when, you know, games go back and, like, either given a, uh, an older Pokemon a new evolution further, or a, a newer, further evolution, or they give it a baby Pokemon, which is very interesting. Uh, because I know Gen 2 went crazy with baby Pokemon because of the whole egg mechanic thing. I thought that was cool. I, I, I really love Gen 2. Gen 2 is, like, another one of my favorite generations. Um... It. I'm gonna have to battle you. Um, but yeah, Generation 2 is another one of my favorite generations. Um, I do have a Crystal Let's Play, but I, as of right now, it is kind of on a, on a hiatus because of everything going on. Um, but again, I th an update video is gonna make sense of everything and what's gonna be happening for the future of the channel. So, kind of, I'm, I'm gonna be making it already in terms of right now as of recording, but um i guess i need to get all my ducks in order and before i do that i find that kind of interesting because i think he's the only dragon tamer in the game i could be wrong but as far as i know i don't remember seeing another dragon tra oh, well speaking of the devil never mind make a liar out of me uh go ahead and try to avoid as much as i can because um at this point uh, they're edging on close uh, to 55, especially Nezuko being a level 54, which is good because I don't have to train her a little later. So uh, We can't go through here yet. We're going to have to do that a little later because he's going to block you. God, quit making me, quit forcing me to battle everyone. Um, not too bad. Nezuko went down on that fight. Um, mainly just because of the poison and stuff that the Tentacruel gave her, but not too bad or whatever. But uh, let's go ahead. I'm putting Shinobu on. Oh, I didn't see that it was a Pokeball. There we go. I can get it. Um, excuse me, sir. I need that item. Please be something like worth it and not just be like, oh, you got some mail. Uh, zinc. All right. I think that's speed. Yeah, I think it might be speed because I know Carbos is attack, iron is defense, and then I forget the other ones. Zinc is another one, but then I forget the other like items as well. But uh, I'm going to put Shinobu out here in the front because if this guy has dragons, um, she has ice beam. And I'll show this one because, oh, okay, now the one I show is like three, <laughs> but whatever, whatever, I'll show it. Um, kind of interesting that they wait to show you like Gibble and everything here, you know what I mean? Um, because I know in Platinum, you kind of run into more, I think, dragons earlier or something. I, I could be wrong, but um, thankfully Shinobu should be able to clean up these dragons. No problem. Um, another critique I will say about, like, the whole happiness thing when, uh, their po your Pokemon is happy and it has all these little text boxes and stuff that comes up, it, it makes the battles drag on just a little bit because, especially if you're doing a double battle and they're both, like, happy with you and stuff like that, it's going to drag on because it, they, for some reason make you be like oh so and so is waiting for your commands and then it's the next pokemon's turn and it's like oh so and so is waiting for your commands again it's like like you don't have to do that like come on <laughs> um but oh dang oh and shinobu learned bounce so i decided to teach it because i had aqua 
uh, Aqua Ring. And I was thinking, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll just teach it. Bounce might be a funny little move. And watch, it's going to miss again. While well, he's dragging it. Like, please just paralyze. If this doesn't work, then wow. Come in. Okay, good. Uh, paralyze? Great. It's not super effective. Um, send out Ozai. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't get bodied by a water attack here. Okay, that's fine. But I think he's definitely going to be faster now. And then, um use a water move here but hopefully the thunderbolt goes through okay now nah, you're fine then um, there you go not too bad uh, and then i think now he's gonna have like a good bite or something please don't have i think you are gonna have one no it's a gibble okay uh i think uh, Psychic should be fine for you. Because I don't think... I don't think you're part ground yet, but I think you might be. So I wasn't going to even... Eh, I think... Either way, if you, if you, even if you weren't, your dragon typing was going to resist the the ground. I mean, the... Oh my god. You, you know what I mean. We're done here. <laughs> We're done here. When thoughts escape me, it gets really annoying, not gonna lie. Uh, Pokemon League. Dog. I love the music so much. Oh. Trainerdom. I love it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go heal and everything, but we made it. We made it. We are at the final leg of this series. Uh, I'm still going to be doing post game and stuff too, so don't worry, but I'll see how I'm gonna handle that. But, oh, why did I use that? But, with that, we are here at the Pokemon League and I'm not gonna enter just yet. I think I'm gonna go ahead and enter in the next episode and I'll heal up and everything then. But in the next episode, I'm gonna go ahead and, cause I hope, I'll bury fight. Uh, Beagers fights is here. Okay. Anyway, we'll figure all that out in the next episode. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this episode, as always, please make sure you do leave a like and subscribe down below to join the Sanok Squad today. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. See you all next one.